I've always uh, thought that it was a privilege to have a show like this, and I feel the same way about the radio show because I uh, get to talk to you about a variety of things. Uh, you've watched me uh, for 22 years on television, some of you. Uh, you've been with me uh, when I got married. Uh, you've been with me when the show went national. Uh, you've been with me when I, had a, when I first got my dogs. And uh, you've been with me ups and downs. And this show has been a great kind of therapy session because I feel like you're not just people watching TV. Um, when you have a show like this, there's a, there's a deeper connection. Um, I feel like I can tell you guys, and I do, I always joke, I tell you guys everything, and uh, I do. And this is one of those days that uh, I have to share some news with you, and that is um, around 8 o'clock last night, my stepfather passed away. Um, Cappy, uh, my mom's husband of uh, 22 years, 20 years, and... Uh, after a long battle uh, with cancer, and uh, I, uh, if also, if you've been with me, you know that I, I didn't have the best relationship with my my uh, my biological dad. So when Cappy met my mom. Uh, he became my dad. I, I feel even weird saying stepdad. As I've talked to people today, um, it just feels, I don't, I don't like the term. He's kind of, it sounds cheesy. He was like an extra dad. He was my dad. Um, he was a good man. And uh, he was such a good man. And he, he, took care of, he took care of my mom because I'm an only child. And they met when my mom was going through a really horrible divorce with my dad in, in 96. And uh, my mom was getting ready to lose her house, our house. I had moved here and uh, my mom was working three jobs just to kind of stay afloat. And one of the jobs was at the new casino that had opened up in my town, my hometown of Michigan City, Indiana. It was a riverboat, it was the first of its kind in my town. And again, it was one of my mom's many jobs. And she worked kind of in the information center. So she was a person that would greet you when you came in. And Cappy was one of the captains of that boat. And she, he walked up one day, and my mom was talking to her coworkers. And captain schedules are such where they work four weeks on and four weeks off. So it's really not conducive for them to get an apartment at any of these jobs because they're not there a lot. So Cappy walks up to my mom and, these, and her friends and said, hey, does anybody know where I could rent a room? And my mom joked, well, my son just moved to Minnesota. Um, <laughs> you can rent his room. <laughs> and what turned out to be, started as a joke, turned into reality, Cappy moved in. And about six months later, my mom calls me. And again, I had just moved here, and I was worried about my mom because she was alone. And she called. She was, I need you to fly home because we, we got to talk. And I thought, oh, God, I can't handle any more bad news. So I flew home. And she goes, stop being dramatic. It's not bad. I just need to tell you something. My mom knows me really well. <laughs> and uh, so we sat at Albano's Pizza Place. And she looked at me, and she said, I'm in love. And I said, what? Like, what? <laughs> I, with who? And she said, Cappy. And you could have knocked me over. And ever since then, um, it's been an unbelievable love story. Um, he loved my mom so much. And my mom loved him to the moon and back. And he was a Southern gentleman, a big Southern gentleman. And prideful. He, w he was in the Navy. Again, he was a boat captain. He could, he could have sailed. He had a license where he could sail any, any vessel in the world. And he always called my mom. He, he always called my mom his bride. He goes, you know, I'm sitting here with my bride. And he had, and some of you may remember, Cappy called into our show a couple times, and he had a great Southern draw, and he just told great stories. Well, when he was diagnosed uh, with cancer, uh, 
it was already stage four, which is a story that's sadly not rare. A lot of you watching can probably relate to this. Uh, we found out way too late. And uh, I kind of knew then, and I think my mom and her heart kind of knew. And that was in October. And you can do the math. This was a very quick, quick um, turn of events. And we found out it started um, with just a little mole, and it spread from there. And I tell you that because I have people in my life that are like, oh, I'm not going to get this checked. I'm not going to get this checked. Get it checked. Um, and then the cancer had spread um, all over. Uh, I, I pray, I, I'm thankful to God that it was kind of quick. If there was any, any silver lining, you know, it didn't go on and on and on. Um, but my mom said last night that she, kind, she texted me. I was at dinner and she goes, I kind of have a feeling that God's going to take my Kathy tonight. And I said, why, you know? And uh, he, he kind of knew and she knew and he started to be in pain. So she kept whispering to him yesterday that you can go, you can go, it's all right to go. And about seven o'clock she got into his bed because it was hospice. She got into his bed and she said she kissed him, she counted. She kissed him about 52 times. And of the 53rd kiss, he puckered up one more time and passed away. So, um, so here we are, and uh, I I'm going to be gone next week. I'm telling you guys this for all the reasons I said a few minutes ago, and uh, I'm also telling you because I didn't want to leave this to Kendall, who is going to be subbing next week, to have to tell you guys this. And also, I wanted to tell you because I apologize that I won't be here. All of you that have tickets, I, I, I'll make it up to you. Come back whenever. Come to support Kendall. Um, but as the only child, I feel like, you know, Cappy, Cappy saved my mom 20 years ago, and now it's my turn to save her. So I appreciate in advance your patience um, over the next week or so. And I know a lot of you follow my mom on Facebook. Um, She's been on the show. People have been asking why she hasn't been on the show, and that's why. Um, she won't be on the computer for a while, but uh, if you get a moment, if you can post a little message to her, I, when she is ready to read it, I know it'll mean a lot to her, because right now, as you can imagine, she's hundreds of miles away from me, and she feels very alone. So I'm trying to do everything I can to make her not feel so alone. So I'm leaving um, shortly. I'm gonna finish off the show, obviously. We will take a turn. I will, uh, yeah, I'll crack a joke or something in a minute, uh, and I'll have Aaron dance or something, <laughs> and uh, we will continue with the show. Uh, but in the meantime, I just want to say thanks to you uh, for all the love that you've shown me over the years, and um, I'm really going to need it in the next week or so, and so will my mother. And to Cappy, thanks for being a great dad, and I love you very much. We'll be right back, everybody.